the Demon King arrives on Monday Night Raw. Hello, I'm William Regal. I am Finn Balor. Hey guys, I'm Renee Young. Hi, this is NXT Women's Champion Bailey. This is WWE Superstar Kevin Owens. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Subscribe to Delzinski. 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 Delzinski's. Delzinski. Delzinski. Or I'm going to smash your face. It's a hug in there for you. All right, guys, Delzinski here, and yes, you pretty much catch the drift of this video. The Demon, Finn Balor, aka now the Demon King, went eye to eye, face to face, with Seth Rollins, who he will face at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. This happened on Monday Night Raw, and I kind of want to understand with you guys what you thought of that moment. Did you think it was right for the WWE to have this huge epic moment revealing the demon on a Monday Night Raw. Because for me, it was good, but I really felt that they should have gone for this at SummerSlam. The big reveal of the demon should have happened at SummerSlam. Now, a lot of people, I mentioned this on Twitter today, and many came back and said, well, you've got to think about the mainstream audience, Delzinski. You need to think about that. Not everybody watches NXT, and I completely understand that. I know we had to get the demon out there. People had to understand the alter ego of Finn Balor. That is absolutely fine. However, it wasn't the only way to do it the way that they did on Monday Night Raw. They gave everything away. They gave his entrance away, we saw the full on face paint, or the war paint, and you know, he even got physical with Seth Rollins. Now for me, it's, it's, it was good, but it kind of maybe gives an indication that Finn won't be winning, because usually, the guy that comes out with the upper hand going into a big pay per view scenario, is usually the guy that comes up short going out. Now. I would have preferred it if they'd been a bit more subtle with this moment. And I would have liked to have seen Finn Balor play mind games, hinting that the demon is coming and the demon will rise. He will come for Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. And they could have done this in a number of ways. They could have used the Titantron as a promo. They could have had the flickering lights. They did utilize those a bit on Monday Night Raw itself. But it could have been done to hint that the demon is coming, but not quite give it all away. You could have even had Bala appear as the demon, but not to give away his full entrance. Maybe just at the top of the ramp in a cloak or something, trying to make it look like, oh my God, there is, what is that? Is that the demon? Hint towards it. And then, you know, when it comes to SummerSlam, we get the big moment, the huge entrance. And if Balor's victorious, what a night it would be. The Demon, on his debut, wins the Universal Championship. I just think it would have been very fitting. And I do think that sometimes less is more. And I do say that quite a lot. But in this scenario, I think it definitely means that that should have happened. Less is more. We should have had, you know... These two didn't need to go toe to toe on Monday night. I really didn't think it was necessary. The hype is there for this match. It's going to be a great matchup. It just needed a subtle hint about the demon. And, you know, that's how you educate your fans anyway. If you are a mainstream guy and you don't know much about the demon and you see some very interesting promos about the demon, Finn Balor, you're going to go look it up. You're going to go and see what the demon is all about. You're going to see his time in New Japan. You're going to see his time in NXT. You are going to be interested. Whereas now, everybody knows what the demon looks like. And that's probably the demon that we'll get at SummerSlam. So you kind of, you know... Yes, you want them to be educated. But no, you don't really want to give it all away. And that is my view when it comes to what happened on Monday Night Raw. I enjoyed it. And, you know, I am going to SummerSlam. And this is going to be an absolutely awesome match to see. 
but I just wish they'd done it a little bit more subtle. And I do hope that Finn Balor does indeed win because I think it's right. I think it's fitting and that is no knock on Seth Rollins, but I think it's a new era in the WWE. You've brought a guy up to represent the new era. That guy is Finn Balor. And if you really want to prove that it is a new era, then you give the championship to the guy that represents it. And that guy is the man, Finn Balor. Yes, not the man, Seth Rollins. And I really love Seth, but I just think the timing is right. The timing is now. And if you ever wanted to make Finn Balor your top guy, your big marketing piece, you know, Finn Balor is going to be able to sell so much for the WWE. Making in your champion right here, right now, at this point in time, is perfect. But, like I said, he went out on top on Monday Night Raw. And nine times out of ten, if you go out on top when you're going into a big pay-per-view scenario, you usually come out a little bit short. So, it's going to be likely that Seth will get the victory. But, nevertheless... This is going to be an awesome match. I'm going to get to see it live, and so will you. And I just want to get your views on it. Did they give us too much on Monday Night Raw? Let me know by the comment section below. And if you enjoy videos like this where we just get to talk a bit of wrestling, also hit that like button because I do enjoy talking about wrestling. I haven't done it an awful lot recently. But talking points like this, I want to get your feedback. I want to get your views, and I want to get your opinions. So all that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yes, this is Delzinski. Very excited for SummerSlam. Signing out.